Welcome back to the Mark IV build video series. Uh, last time we installed the rear end and rear suspension assembly. Today we're going to be working on the pedal box. So we'll be showing you how to put the whole Willwood assembly together from the complete kit and get that whole thing into place. First thing we're going to do is we're going to need to remove the snap ring here holding the brake pedal in. That way we can install the brake light switch. So we'll take our snap ring pliers, put them in the place, take the snap ring out, pull the pivot pin, and we'll be good to go. We're now going to take a center punch and mark our hole to drill our mounting hole. We're now going to drill our 3 16 hole in the bracket. With the bracket hole now drilled, you can go ahead and use it as a guide to drill the hole in the pedal box itself. With the hole now drilled in the pedal box, go ahead and take the number 10 screw, put it in the place, making sure that the bracket is closer to the pedal pivot. With that set, we'll go ahead and put the brake light switch in the place, taking note that you can adjust the brake light switch depth simply by adjusting the hex nuts and screwing the switch in or out closer or further away from the pedal. We'll go ahead and reinstall the brake pedal. Make sure that you note that there is a thin washer on either side of the pedal itself as you put the pivot pin through. So have a screwdriver handy to help line it up as you pass the pin through the pedal. With the brake light switch now installed, we're gonna go ahead and remove the clutch pedal and start assembling the quadrant assembly to it. First thing we'll do is remove the pivot pin and then remove the factory Willwood master cylinder mount from the end of the pedal. With all that now removed, you're going to go ahead and install the new clutch pivot spacer along with reusing the hardware from the old pivot spacer such as the washers and the snap rings. With that installed, we're now going to go ahead and put the main pedal box mount onto the pedal box. You want to make sure that you install the pedal box itself from Willwood under the mount and go ahead and install the three bolts first, leaving the one underneath the clutch pedal pivot point free. Loosely tighten up the three bolts and then take the stud, install it from the bottom side up, making sure you tap it in the place to seat it into the pedal box so you can tighten the nut down without the stud spinning inside. Go ahead and tighten all of the bolts up now between the pedal box and mounting bracket. With that installed, go ahead and get your clutch pedal quadrant stop. Install the two bolts going top down. Slide the two spacers on, then the bracket, and tighten the bolts up. From here, install the new clutch pedal pivot pin, taking note that there's also thin washers that'll be installed on either side of the pivot, just like on the brake pedal. 
and install your snap ring. With the pedal box pre-assembled, mount it up to the frame with the four bolts provided to you in the kit and temporarily tighten them down just so that everything's snug. We need the pedal box loose to put the second bracket in place. With that temporarily installed, take the secondary pedal box support bracket, slide it onto the master cylinder mounts and mark the three quarter tubes with a silver Sharpie for the quarter inch holes we need to drill. Take note that the pedal box may need to be removed in order to access the other three quarter tube to drill the second hole. With the pedal box now firmly mounted, install the clutch pedal actuator between the clutch quadrant and the pedal itself. Take note that the bolt that installs the clutch pedal to the clutch pedal actuator will not tighten up all the way. A few threads will be exposed as the bolt does not hold the load of the clutch system. From there, install the clutch pedal quadrant stop, tightening it up temporarily until we get the clutch fully installed. From there, we're going to install the master cylinders. Go ahead and pull back the dust boot, put the master cylinder in place, and thread that into the pedal assembly, installing it just enough so that the pedal no longer hits the frame. You'll want to repeat that for the opposite side. From there, bolt the master cylinders to the pedal box assembly, reinstalling the two nuts that are also in the vacant spot for a hydraulic clutch. With the pedal box fully installed, we'll need to modify the clutch cable and install it into the chassis. First, we'll start by removing the factory rubber mount off the cable, and then using a razor blade, cut the four tabs that are on the end of the cable mount itself. From there, slide it into the quadrant adjuster and hook it on the back of the actuator. Now we'll go ahead and install the accelerator pedal. You first need to unpack it from the position it came in in the box by removing one of the Allen screws on the pivot point and pulling the pedal off of the spline shaft. You'll temporarily install it in an open position, we'll need to clock it later when the accelerator cable is installed onto the motor. With that all set, install it onto the frame with the two bolts provided.
With the pedal box fully installed, just like you see here to my left, we're now ready to move on to the next section. See you next time.